Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Joyful Living. This is the third part because I was obviously talking a whole lot in the other two so I had to split this up into three parts and about the book The Self Love Experiment by Shannon Kaiser, a life changing book for me and if you are into self love you are going to love this too I promise you guys. Um, it is so amazing and I found so many awesome things in this book. And what I wanted to talk to you about mostly right now is actually the <coughs> 15 self-love principles that are in this book. I've talked about 10, now I'm gonna talk about the last five. So the 11th principle in this book is your dreams are the invisible architecture of your life. Trust them and honor them. So, some of us have these like hidden dreams or dreams we do not want to talk about or dreams that we feel are just too big to do something about. Like for example, one of my biggest dreams have always been to be like a musical artist or something like that and be in musicals. Uh, that's a bit big. I'm not that good of a singer for that to happen, but I love singing. It makes me so happy and I haven't done it for so many years, but finally just like a few weeks ago, I signed up for a choir and I don't know why I haven't done that before. That's gonna bring so much joy into my life. That's gonna make me evolve as a person and it's gonna help me love myself more because I love singing and I love the feeling I have in my body when I do so. So that's just an example, but trust your dreams and honor your dreams and follow your dreams. Don't just write, write them down or talk about them. Do something, take one small step to help you get closer to your dreams. My small step is joining a choir and actually start singing again because I know how important that is in my life. The 12th self-love principle is your relationship with yourself sets the tone for everything in your life. I don't like 100% agree to this because I have the most loving husband and a beautiful, he is beautiful to me and he is beautiful to our children and my children are amazing but I do think that my children are affected by me not loving myself. So that is also why I'm trying to do this because I don't want them to not love themselves. If they see their mom who they look up to not love herself, not, not that I, I try to like not show it, um, but I am sure like kids are extremely clever they see things you have no idea they see. So I'm sure they see that I don't love myself very much. So yeah, I mean, that's also why I'm trying to work on it, but it doesn't set the tone for everything because I believe like my husband loves me and I love my husband very much. I don't know, our relationship might be even better if I love myself more, who knows, we will see. That's what I'm working on. Uh, but anyway, 13, principle 13 is when you heal yourself, you help heal the world. And I do believe that. I really, really believe that. Uh, and I hope that during my healing, I will also be able to talk about what I'm going through in order to help you guys heal or some of you guys that are watching and need help healing, I do hope that I will get give that back to you. And I also think like when I love myself, I will show that to the world in a way that it's possible for me to do more in the world and see like the good things in a different perspective, kind of. So yeah, I do think that healing myself will help heal the world because I do think that unhappy people are also the people that don't bring as much joy into the world and like the bitter, more bitter, not bitter, but like the people that are just unhappy with life. They don't 
bring too much joy and uh, healing into the world. Number 14, you are a gift. Actually, you are a gift. And please, please, please listen to this. You are a gift. You are here in this world for a reason. You have a purpose. Even though you might not know your purpose, some of you might be very clear on your purpose in life. And here's the sun. <laughs> you see, you are a gift. The sun is shining for you. Um, but like, yeah, you're a gift. And know this. There is a purpose for you in life and you will find it if you haven't found it. I have not found my purpose, but one day I will. I will just keep listening to myself and my values and my core beliefs will guide me somewhere. And I don't see myself as a gift per se because <laughs> I don't love myself fully and that's why I read this book because I want to love myself. But like, yeah. You're lucky to be alive, you're lucky to be here, and people around you are lucky to have you in their life, even though you might not be feeling like that all the time. I sure am not, and, but I'm sure that's true. I just can't see it right now because I'm not in that happy place that I want to be yet. But I'm getting there, I promise. And the last principle of them all, in this book anyway, is self-love is not about how you look or what you do, it's about how you live. And yes, it is all about how you live. I don't have much else to say about it. Live the life you want. There's a saying that I really love and it's, I think it goes, live the life you love and love the life you live. Something like that. I'm not quite sure, but you get the message and if you are working with something that makes you unhappy, you have the choice to do something else. If you're doing things that are making you unhappy, you have the choice to go in a different direction. And oh my, it's so light right now. I'm sorry about the lighting. I can't change it right now. But anyway, there it goes. Um, so it's really, really important. Try to live the life that you love and the the person you want to be, don't be stuck in a place because you think you have to be or society tells you you have to be or you might think if you change jobs or go back to school or whatever, there are jobs that you can work meanwhile that makes you happier or whatnot. I'm not sure about your situation so I can't go on and guide you in any way but I want you to encourage you to live a life that you love because you are worth it. You are worth living a life you love. And yeah, I mean, those are the 15 principles in three different videos because this book is an amazing book. I have not heard about it before because I'm from Sweden and this, I think she's American. Mm. I'm not sure, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway, uh, so this, um, I've never seen this in Sweden, so it was a happy coincidence, and this book will change my life and help me so much. The Self-Love Experiment by Shannon Kaiser. So keep that in mind if you hear about it more. Um, that I, I believe this is for you. All of those of you who want to love yourselves. I'm so happy that you watched this and I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you want to stick around for more videos. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell me about your self-love journey. Do you love yourself? Are you happy with yourself or are you not? What do you want to change in your life if you're not happy? And also, what are you most happy about right now, right here, today? Tell me in the comments. What's the best thing about right now? Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.